Forgiveness leads you back. It's the year of the Lord, 2021. Years may come and go, however, God's faithfulness is forever. And the best way to start off the year, just like the theme of Values Avenue for January, is to seek forgiveness and extend forgiveness. Forgiveness is such a difficult thing to give and receive, but because of the love of Jesus, all things are possible. Pagmasdan ang taas at lawak ng kalangitan, tulad ng pagpapatawad sa iyo'y inilaan. Sa panahon na ikay nagugulumihanan, pag-ibig ni Jesus, huwag na huwag kalilimutan. Youth talk, forgive, never let your dark past imprison you, in Christ, unleash a life that's truly new. Sabi nga ni John Bevere, People who can't forgive has forgotten what they have been forgiven of. At sabi rin ni Paul Tripp, Grace exposes the darkest regions of your heart while blessing you with the grace of confession and forgiveness. Paminsan-minsan, sinasalamin ang likuran, hindi para tumitig, kundi para magabayan. Ang pait ng kahapon, patawarin ng lubusan, ngunit huwag kalimutan ang aral ng nakaraan. Parents talk, God's forgiveness to you is immeasurably wide to your own child the same should never be denied. Sabi nga sa isang quote, the first to apologize is the bravest. The first to forgive is the strongest. But the first to forgive is the happiest. By God's grace, the CECE community keeps on growing. We thank God for the lives of our viewers, subscribers, content contributors, raffle draw winners, and contest winners. We appreciate your continuous support in our platforms, Facebook page, and YouTube channel. Likewise, the encouraging endorsement of Children's Ministry International, the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church of the Philippines, and Molino Presbyterian Church is heartwarming. Mas matapang yung umingi ng tawad, pero mas matapang yung nagpatawad. Yes! Mahirap kasi siya ka ba? We are inspired to press on despite the challenges that we face individually and as a team. But for us, CECE family, this is a God-given ministry that we must faithfully do for the glory of God. As I close, let me read 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, 
He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Forgiveness will lead us back to the heart of the Triune God and to the fellowship of people who hurt us and whom we hurt. And yes, it also leads us back to ourselves because forgiveness leads us back home. This has been Michelle Ferrer de Leon. Hashtag values education for the next generation.